Hey guys, it's Papa Steve on the move. Welcome back. Hey, today we're going to be talking about repair kits for your backpack. You don't want to be out in the backcountry when you get a hole in your air mattress. That's a no-no. What kind of gear should you bring with you to keep your gear safe, to keep you safe and repair things in the field to get you home? I'm going to show you what I keep in my bag and we'll talk about that next. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Papa Steve on the move. Here today we're going to talk about what I keep in my repair kit. Uh, every backpacker should have some type of repair kit that he takes out with him in the field to do field repairs in an emergency situation. So I keep my repair kit in this little yellow bag. It's a, it's a mech ditty bag, size medium. Um, I like the yellow. Yellow to me signifies uh, it's my repair kit. Uh, I weighed it this morning. Uh, everything I've got in here weighs 1.2 pounds. Uh, it's a little too much. I'm going to have to pare that down. Um, but before I did that, I wanted to show you guys what's inside. Now keep in mind, uh, most people's kits should probably be about half of this, but uh, you'll decide what you will and won't want to keep in your kit. I keep a couple different lengths of rope. I don't like to cut rope, so I do keep one this long one I take out plenty of times. It's probably the one thing that I use in this kit regularly. Uh, it becomes a clothesline or something to tie off a tarp or whatever I need. This other piece I actually picked up on the trail on my, uh, my last hike. And I think it might go into a day kit that I make for myself. Also inside is a little uh, bag with a triangular bandage which you might use for a uh, sling something else and I do keep a surgical mask in there never know what you're gonna come across on the trail uh, I've been into some uh, some huts um, some communal living spaces where a uh, mask these days you just never know when you're gonna need one so I stuffed one inside there and I I do carry this around because it's too big for my first aid kit now I also keep two booklets uh, in this plastic bag so they don't get wet. One is how to use a compass. One is how to tie knots. I'm pretty comfortable with both, um, probably because I've read these books, but uh, in an emergency situation, I might like the reference materials. Uh, if, if nothing else, they make excellent paper to burn for fire if I need to use them. Now everything else fits in this Ziploc bag. Now the Ziploc bag's just to keep it dry. That mech bag's not waterproof. Inside, there's a number of different equipment. Number one, my compass. Um, I keep a GPS. I don't use the compass. It's strictly for emergencies. I always have a trail map. Um, the compass is in an emergency situation where I've run out of power. That's uh, that's going to help me get out, at least to identify where I am. Keep a little Ziploc bag with some shoelaces and some zip ties. Uh, these are really handy. I recommend zip ties. They're really light and they're great to either uh, repair a shoe or a zipper or something else that might break in the field. A single use bottle of crazy glue in a little plastic bag. Crazy glue is great for any number of things. Uh, I haven't found anything yet that this stuff can't glue together, including your fingers, so watch out. I actually did that, glued the two fingers together. Pretty unpleasant experience, but I do endorse crazy glue in your repair kit. Folding scissors. These are a must have. Whether I'm uh, cutting up some moleskin in my first aid kit or uh, you know, the duct tape or something else for a patch. Uh, folding scissors are great. You can find these little folding scissors in just about any gas station in North America. And uh, they're about a buck. They don't weigh much. Put one in your repair kit. Now, if my lighter ever goes down, I do know how to use a steel and striker. Uh, I do keep them in my pack. Uh, this one's been used several times. I've started many fires with the striker. Uh, the steel is good. It's, make sure you get one that's nice and soft. Uh, the softer the steel, the easier it'll be able to get fire. And I do bring some tinder. Probably only need one bag in the kit, but uh, there's three. And um, these are 
little tinders you can buy. Uh, they, they puff out substantially when you untie them and uh, they make excellent tinder for, for a fire. Keep a whistle. I don't have one on my bag. Some backpacks have one built in on the strap, but uh, I, I don't have one there. So I keep one in my emergency kit. If I ever need to attract attention, the whistle works. Don't want to blow it too loud. Keep a carabiner. Uh, this one's kind of special. It's got a couple little features to it that uh, I can hook it or hang it on a rope or something. Uh, it's great for drying things out. So if I hang the rope, I can hang this up and clip just about anything on there. And I've used it on my uh, clothesline plenty of times. I keep some uh, iodine tablets for water purification. If I ever get into some really nasty water where uh, I know there's some, um, my filters failed, my stove's lost, for whatever reasons I need to purify water to get out, I keep some tablets. Gear Aid makes some excellent products and I highly endorse the Tenacious Tape. Uh, this stuff's really sticky and it's great for patching a down quilt or sleeping bag or a uh, air mattress or anything else that you might puncture a hole in. Uh, this stuff's uh, great, it's waterproof, it's easy to apply. Uh, I've got a whole roll here. Um, I would recommend cutting off a section and keeping a piece of this in your kit. Keep a sewing kit. It's got some safety pins, it's got some needles, it's got a seam puller, a little bit of thread. Uh, there's some buttons in there. It's pretty multi-use. It's the Gear Aid one again. Uh, you can buy this right off the shelf or you can build one of your own. If, you're, uh, if you've got sewing supplies around, it's pretty simple to put one of these together with a magnet or something else. Uh, I like to have a sewing kit because uh, if I need to fix something in the field, that's going to come in really handy. I have some seam sealer. So again, I hit the gear aid shelf on the, uh, at the store and the seam sealer is great for waterproofing products. It comes with a little brush. So if I've got a leak in the tent, uh, for whatever reason, I can seal that up, waterproof it. It's also got a patch here, pretty useful. Where the tape fails, this will not. Great, great little bottles. I keep a little multi-tool. Uh, this thing, uh, again, it's pretty light. Comes in its little pouch. It's got some sharp edges. It's got a saw, it's got a scraper, it's got a knife. Uh, it's a wrench. It's a bottle opener. Um, it's a can opener. It's got a number of tools there. If I ever needed to um, utilize this, it's handy. It's right in my kit. It's flat and folds up. Fits really easy into any kit. I pack an emergency blanket. Uh, again, if I'm stuck out on a day trip or something uh, overnight, um, emergency blanket's going to be really handy. A couple of wet wipes, moist towelettes for whatever. This is actually duct tape. Um, Probably don't need the duct tape and the tenacious tape, but uh, duct tape's really handy and it's cheap. So I've actually taken an old, uh, I saw in another YouTube video, taken an old uh, gift card and I wrapped the duct tape around it and it's great. It's nice and flat and it fits into just about any container or bag and that's a great way to carry your tape. Down in the bottom. See, uh, Repair piece for my tent. Uh, most tents will come with this for you. If it's got poles, you're gonna have a repair piece. If not, I recommend you add one to your kit. Basically, if your pole breaks, you put this over the broken part, you duct tape it around at each end, and you can use your poles until you get home and replace them or repair them. This is pretty handy, and very light. Last thing's in there, there's some paper and a pencil. Um, again, you can use this for Tinder, if I need to write something down, whatever I need, uh, probably unnecessary, but um, you never know when you're going to need to leave a note. So paper and pencil definitely make my repair kit. It's a lot of gear, 
Uh, don't need it all. I could definitely pare this down, take a piece of tape, maybe wrap it around the card like I did here, bring one bag of these, maybe make my own kits. I'm definitely going to uh, pare this down this year and try and make this into two different kits. So that's this week's video. What do you guys think? Do I carry too much gear or not enough? Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, or reach out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Till then, I'll see you guys on the trail. It's Papa Steve on the move.